Hello, it's Jeanette with GeoAmazing Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with another video tutorial and I'm going to be making a card today. Uh, and this card I made using some supplies or products from the Peony Garden Suite. You see that beautiful designs on there? Yep, I use the Peony Garden Suite, or at least I use some of the products, not all of them, because there's a, a whole lot of products in that suite. But um, this is gray granite with some petal pink to accent, okay? And I also, on the inside of the card, used a piece of light color petal pink uh, printed page from the designer series paper from that suite. And I stamped it and you know if you're using a dark pen this will come through so I really like to just to decorate the inside of my cards um, but I don't usually put designer series paper on the inside but this time I did and I think it kind of turned out really nice and I think I'll do that with my next card and my next card is going to be just a little bit different I am going to be using instead of the petal pink and the gray granite I'm going to be using some uh, basic gray and also some uh, blushing bride and those are like my two favorite combinations of pink and gray so let me just put this aside and let me show you what you're going to need this is a piece of cardstock uh, and this measures 11 inches by four and a half and I've scored it at five and a quarter and this layering piece here um, measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths and now you're going to need two pieces of uh, designer series paper and I've cut those down to three and seven eighths by five and one eighth and now if you notice this piece right here it actually starts out looking like this okay but I have actually put it through the embossing machine with the embossing folder called Dainty Diamonds that's from the suite and I got a really nice textured I see I think you can see it better there a really nice texture so that's what it started out to be this pretty uh, basic gray color print and then I use it by the way these pieces of paper um, these designer series paper comes in 12 by 12 sheets I cut them down to 6 by 6 for storage purposes so now I've got these two pieces here that are the same size and I can decide if you notice I have just a little bit more on the top than the bottom I can decide how much I want on top and bottom but I want to make sure that I'm uh, placing these in the the paper trimmer together so let me bring up my paper trimmer um, yeah this <laughs> this is the right way okay and I think let me see the these measure five and uh, five and one eighth I, I kind of like to want um, I mean I kind of want to maybe go two and one eighth or maybe I could go two and I don't want to go two and a half I want to go two, maybe two and a quarter okay we're gonna do that we're gonna go two and a quarter um, and I'm just gonna go cut both pieces at the same time okay because you can actually make two kinds of cards Okay, let's see how we do how we're going to do this here. Um, you can make this top with this bottom, okay, or you can make this bottom with this top. You know, however you want to do that. I think I'm going to do it like this, um, with the, the the larger on the top and the shorter on the bottom. So let me put these two pieces away. I may make another card with that now what I want to do also I should have kept my uh, paper trimmer out I want to take one of the doilies that's part of the suite this is a vellum doily and I want to cut it in half uh, just kind of down the middle diagonally so try to put that in your um, in your cutter where you've got that line that that cutting that cutting groove goes right through the center of your 
of your doily and then I'm just going to cut it like that. So now I have half a doily and that's really all I'm going to use but before I use it I'd like to color it and I'd like to color it oops wrong trying to shove that into the wrong space. I'd like to color it with some Blushing Bride. And so how am I going to do that? Let's see. I'm going to take some Blushing Bride ink and I am just going to take, I'm going to take a blending brush too, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it right down here <clears throat> on the ink pad and I want to make sure that my blending brush doesn't have any ink on it, but I'm just going to tap it. Um, yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm tapping down my vellum so that it can get ink all over it. Yep. Now you can you can do this with your uh, uh, what do you call it blends? If you've got the blushing bright blend, that would work too. You know, I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper. Let me see. Do I have a scrap? Yes, I do. And I'm just going to kind of oops wow <laughs> I'm going to take some of that uh, ink off of it just brush a little bit off of it so that it's not so wet but I still have the shade on here okay yeah this looks like a mess right now but look how pretty that is I don't know if you can see that let me show it to you isn't that pretty so that's what I'm doing with the the vellum doily and I am going to put that away for now. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to die cut uh, this, um, you see this piece right here? I'm going to go ahead and die cut that out of some s silver foil. This foil here that I used was not, it's not a gray granite foil. It's actually a Sahara sand foil that I got from the Love You Always suite of products, but I will uh, I'll give you the number for just the foil sheets. There's actually three different colors, but Sahara Sand is one of the colors. So let me put that aside for right now, and I'm going to bring in a die from the Peony dies. I'm going to be bringing in this die here, and what I want to do is I want to take it to my die cutting machine, just right on the edge, like that. You see, I did it before here. And um, it doesn't kind of really matter. But this piece right here measures, hold on a second, I'll get the right measurements. It's it's a little bit more than what I need. Um, this measures four and a half inches. So <clears throat> I'm going to be putting this through the die cutting machine like this, put a little piece of tape on it. And when I come back, this is what I'll have. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that piece. You see, it has like an engraving on it. Isn't that pretty? So I'll be using this piece instead of taking, you know, this piece to there. Um, let me put this aside for right now. And now what I want to do, since I'm going to be putting this on the top, I want to adhere this to the top part. And then we're going to be butting that up next to it. Okay? Or actually, what we could do, let's see how we're going to do this. I forgot how I did it the last time. Um, I think what I did was I, I, I glued it just below the gray and then I butt that up like that. But we'll see. Let me see. I think I'm going to do it right here. It would be, you know, a little bit easier anyway. So I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet and I'm just going to go ahead and put some uh, seal adhesive on here. All the way down like that. Okay, and I am going to just lay this right here, right on the edge of this. But you know what? Let me make sure. I want to make sure that I've got like even design on both sides here. There you go. There. It's kind of like halfway here and halfway there. Trying to get it right on that edge right there. Oh, and I have a little bit of um, of that tear and tape, or not not tear and tape, that seal. I put have a little bit of that seal on here. I'm just <laughs> I'm actually rubbing it off with um, with my shirt, but 
let me try to do that with the uh, the actual adhesive remover okay we'll try to get that a little bit better later so I'm gonna take my paper snips and I will snip this off on this side here okay like that and then I'm going to adhere this piece like this but I'm gonna just take a piece of scotch tape and line it up in the back just so that it doesn't get um, you know so that it's even on both sides I'm just using a piece of removable scotch tape but I won't be removing it okay now I am going to take this doily and I'm going to be placing this doily right on the edge of that silver piece so how am I going to uh, adhere that well I'm going to be using some multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to put a little bit on my uh, silicone craft sheet and I've got a sponge that I use for glue That's, no this is the one um, if this is just one of my sponges now you can use a um, a sponge dauber of you know one of those little fingers daubers too but I'm just going to use this little sponge and I know yes they are going to be retiring um, in the next catalog so you might want to get a supply of these sponges and I will have that listed for you in the description so now that I've got this uh, adhesive all over the sponge let me get out my other silicone craft sheet <laughs> okay yeah I keep more than one around here I'm going to just lay this down like this I'm going to turn this over like that and press it just like that okay you see what I have there okay now I'm gonna be um, adhering this to the pink uh, or the um, the blushing bride uh, layer of cardstock and uh, did I say what that layer measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths if I didn't mention that before and so I am just gonna go ahead and use some seal adhesive and layer that this is just the regular seal you can use uh, Tombow Mono multi-purpose glue if you want to now this is going to leave me with one eighth of an inch border all the way around if you're careful okay I'm a little bit off yeah I am and this is what I like about the seal you have a little bit of time to get it straight okay so let me make sure I've got it even on all sides here it's a little bit better okay before I attach it here um, or maybe I could yeah I could I could go ahead and attach it to the card base right now uh, I think that will be just fine I'm gonna use some more seal Now with this um, piece of cardstock, I'm going to have like a sixteenth of an inch. Let me move this out. I'll have like a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. So it's not as thick of a border as um, this pink one here. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. And now I'm going to be working on a label. And the stamp set that goes with that suite is called prized peony and I'm going to be using the stamp that says your sweet friendship refreshes the soul and I'm going to be using some gray a basic gray oh, I just got gray all over me I'm going to use great basic gray ink and I'm going to stamp this down and I will be die cutting it but the the die that I'm going to be using is coming from the ornate frames dies which is not retiring <laughs> it is going to be around for the next catalog and I'm using this shape here now let me just um, show you what I'm going to do I'm going to take this to the die cutting machine okay I'm just going to tape that there so that it doesn't move around and I will be right back 
And I, I didn't want to take it off yet. I'm going to put just another little piece of tape on here because I want to do some sponging. I was reminded of a technique that I used to do a lot um, a long time ago, and that's sponge, sponge the edges of some of these frame dies while they're still in the, you know, the die. So I'm going to take some, make sure there's no ink on that brush. I'm going to take one of my blender brushes. I'm going to take some basic gray and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. I'm going to rub a little bit off because I don't want it to be too strong, but I'm just going to go over the edges very lightly, taking most of that off. I want to get that piece of tape. I kind of want that tape off of there because it's in my way. Put that down. <laughs> I get this tape off of here. Okay. And we're just sponging the edge just to give it a little bit of color because it is kind of a plain white tag without just a little bit of um, distress type color on the sides. And you can do this as much as you want or as little as you want or just not at all if you don't feel like it but I want to show you what it looks like once you once you get this on here it, it does give it a really pretty accent okay let me take that off now you see what I have isn't that pretty so I'm gonna be placing that right here in the middle with some dimensionals but before I do that I'm going to be uh, die cutting a flower from the peony stamp set um, this flower right here I'm going to be using that die I mean that flower and let me get out this is it right here I want to clean this off here I am going to be getting out a piece of pink this is the new pink design that's going to be coming out with our uh, designer series paper in the subtles and this is the blushing bride one this is just one of uh, four designs there's another one here let me see which one do I want to do I think I want to do this side here yeah so I'm going to take let me move this aside I'm going to take my gray ink again and I'm going to to stamp on this like this okay with the gray ink on that pattern paper. And then I'm going to take the die from the die set. There is a die that cuts this out perfectly. And when I come back, I will have I already did I already die cut it. I will have this piece right here. Okay. So I'm going to put that aside for now and now we can put this part together. I'm going to lift this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And my dimensionals are here on the side because that's where I left them, right? <laughs> okay, here's some dimensionals. I'm just gonna put three of these on here. Oops. All right, but I will need one for that too. So let me just Take this off. Let me move this scrap piece of paper out. <clears throat> okay, now let's find the center right here the best you can. Okay, that is pretty close. Okay, and then I'm going to put a dimensional because I'm going to have this flower sticking out right here. Put a dimensional right there. And I just kind of want this flower slanted a little bit right here in the corner there. Okay. And then we will bring out some of our uh, elegant faceted gems. And I want to use some of these um, pearly colored ones. They're just so pretty. Uh, I used some of the uh, petal pink ones on here put about five of them and I think I'll do the same thing but what I need is to bring out my take your pick tool 
And let me bring out these. Open this up here. And I think I will put, let me see, I put a small one right down here. Okay, and we'll just scatter these around. I think I'll, I'll just do five like I did before. I think I'm going to bend this so I don't take off the domes. One right there. I'll put two large. I don't know. I forgot what I did. I think I put two large and three small. So, put a small one right here, and another small one right around here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and you can put as many as you want to on there. So now what about the inside of the card? On the inside of the card, I decided to uh, take a piece of the designer series paper that I just used. Um, I have it here somewhere, but I think I may have to go grab another piece because it disappeared. <laughs> so, let's see. We have the, I just want to show you, the subtle colors. I've got all of the colors. We were able to order them as demonstrators. You were able to order them or earn, earn them free if you join Stampin' Up! during celebrations. But these are all the subtle colors. And I want to bring out the... Blushing Bride, that's the petal pink. Where's my Blushing Bride? Here it is, right here. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it down to... Um, I'm going to cut it down to... Th uh, wait, let me see, what am I cutting it down to? <laughs> I didn't write down that measurement. But I think... Oh, and I don't need to score anything, so let me bring out my, my paper trimmer. <laughs> Talk about disorganized, being disorganized, right? So I'm going to cut it down to four and one quarter of an inch. Oh no, four and one eighth of an inch. Okay, remember that it's four and one eighth, and I'll put that on the screen. And I'll want to go to five and three eighths right here. Okay, and let me put this away. And I'm going to take that stamp again of that flower and I'm going to just stamp the corner right here with that little flower design. It's very subtle like that and then I'm also going to be stamping the sentiment that says my thoughts are with you. This one here I have this on my block what's my block B it's the second to the, I guess that's the second to the largest, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, the second to the smallest, rather. This is the smallest block. This is block A. It's really small, but I love it. I love the, blo the blocks because I like, look at that, I just got ink all over me again. Uh, I like the fact that you can hold on to it and you don't get ink on it when you're holding it. It's not too skinny. So... I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to stamp this the straightest that I can on here right in the middle with that basic gray ink. You see how subtle that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and now I'm just going to adhere this to the inside of the card right here. And that's going to look really, really pretty on the inside of the card. So let me get some more seal adhesive and I will this is going to have like a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around so just carefully lie it down like that okay and that is my card I was thinking that if we had a blushing bride blend uh, that I could color these but we don't have a blushing bride blend see <laughs> I need to keep better track of the colors that we have in those blends but anyway these are my two cards for today i hope that you like it i hope i've taught you something um and i hope that you will try this and like i said before all the tools and supplies are going to be listed in the description of the video and if you need any of the tools and supplies you can go to my website at www.geo oops 
geoamazing paper crafts dot stampin up dot net i hope to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one so once again i'm jeanette with geoamazing paper crafts and you make it a great day bye bye